All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. I am so happy to show you this. This game is awesome. I just played it one time, so you guys may have to give me some of your expert pro tips as per usual. After this, I'm going to go get some coffee and some breakfast. Recording this bright and early in the morning, so don't you love the smell of napalm in the morning? I don't think there's napalm yet, but there are some pretty cool things. This is Warfare Online. It is the successor to Warfare 1917 and Warfare 1944, both of which I've showed. Now, those games were like back in the day, right? This is beautiful. The graphics are amazing. The combat mechanics are the same, so let's go ahead and uh, go to a platoon. We're going to make a, a custom platoon. Let's go ahead and edit this one. And here are the units we have. So we can have five different slots. We can pick all kinds of other different things here. Units and support, right? So let's go ahead. It looks like we've got riflemen, assault infantry, anti-tank teams, machine gun teams, M1A1 Abrams, LAV-25s, um, some Humvees, and a sniper team. Now, in the last battle, I had riflemen, assault men, anti-teams... No, 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 I had riflemen, AT teams, machine gun teams, an LAV-25, and an A1, M1A1 Abrams. So I'm wondering if what we should do here... What are these supply boxes? There's all this kind of stuff right now. I believe it's in beta, closed beta right now. I'm in contact with the developer, Chris, great guy. I got in contact with him, with him in regards to, like, Warfare 1917 and 1944 back in the day. And, dude, this is looking good. Okay, so I think I'm going to want Riflemen. Oh, dude, check this out. Oh, you can get other ass different assault rifles here. Greater damage. It seems like there's balance. Aim time's better, but range is decreased. M16 seems to be kind of the standard go around. Um, we can't do Grenadier kits, which would be really cool to give your men some other supplements here. There's all this other stuff as well. Urban camouflages. Ooh, just for fun. Yeah, but you can see I've, I'm in tier one still. I've only had one battle. All right, so let's go back. How do I get back? Back. I'm going to use the back button. All right, so we've got this guy. Now, do we just want to go infantry swarm? That'd be kind of cool. So here we have 10 of these. Now, AT teams, I'm not really sure. Sniper teams, you only get three of. I think I want to go, like, armor. So... If I'm going mad armor, then I should probably have some anti-infantry units. I'm going to go with some assault. I'm going to go for a swarm mechanic here. All right, now let's go with the Humvee, which I've never used before. The LAV and the A1, M1A1 Abrams tank. All right, so now with support, what do I want? I want... So gain two supply. I don't think I want that. The ones I really do. Ooh. I like... Mortar strikes were okay. Artillery strikes were pretty good. Assault team's always good because it gets you more units. I just want to go spam units. I'm going to spam units. We might lose. We might lose really bad. Reinforce was really, really good. Alright. Oscar Mike increases the speed. No, we're, we're just going Zerg. Zerg mentality. We want some assault teams. Now, what else? Repair all vehicles in the selected area. Artillery strike was pretty good. How many? Ooh, four out of 20? Oh, hold on. All right, I definitely want more reinforcements. More of those. Gain two supply. Give an infantry one reinforcement. Definitely. Effective against infantry? Sure. Smoke mortars? Decrease accuracy of selected vehicle unit. That could be interesting. Supply boosts. Draw fire if we have an M1 Abrams out there. Short accuracy and speed increase. Yes. Because we want some supplements to our infantry, right? Increase cover bonus and accuracy. Deploy anti-tank mines. Definitely want those. All right, now we've got one other. Disable the selected vehicle's weapons temporarily. Hell yeah. All right, so... That should mean everything's pretty good to go. Now, I don't know what operations are yet. I don't think I can have any of those yet. Save and exit. All right, so we're going to use this guy. And we're going to go back. Now let's get into a battle. We're going to use our USA platoon. We're going to get into a battle. It looks like we're searching for an opponent at this point. 
and that was pretty quick. Now, are we versing AI? It's quite possibly. It's quite possible. Last battle, I fought a guy named Max, and he kicked my butt. I basically was like, spam units, spam units, spam units. Guess what my strategy is this time? Keep or discard assets. Uh, I don't want all these draw fires. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's go ahead and... All right, what do we get? Artillery strike and assault team? That's pretty good. Let's go to it. We're, we're fighting someone named Pasias. So here you can see the one main area of attack, which is pretty, you know, classic warfare, right? Or the warfare series of games. So you can see that there's a little bit of a timer until my units become available. I've got, let's see, one supply right now, and I believe supply gets gathered over time. Artillery strike takes three. Assault takes three. Reinforcements take six. Looks like we've got some units moving in here. What are these? Looks like a rifleman team. So I think what I want to do is I might just want to wait to see what he's doing, if he's going to attack, and then do a nice counterattack with maybe an M. Or we could save up for an Abrams and just go for it at the beginning. I think that's what we're going to do, because if we waited this long, we might as well get the Abrams. Um, no other units have been Posseus. This sounds like a person to me. We could always call an artillery strike on his units. Oh, there's an anti-tank team out. Okay, so I'm going to want to target that anti-tank team with maybe an artillery strike. We're going to spawn out one of our rifleman teams. Oh, tactical error. We should have called the Abrams first. Yeah, you can see, I, 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 uh, you know, here, we're going to... How do I get this? There we go. That means these guys should go in to defend that spot. They didn't quite make it. The artillery strike, I want... On the AT team. Oh, I can't do it because of the uh, the line of battle here. My guys actually got whooped. How do I disarm that? That'd be great to know. On the field. Over. We're going to get an assault team out. And then we're going to call in an aerial strike. Artillery strike right there. There we go. We, got, we want to get rid of those guys. That guy is going to do some damage to... I'm going to have to call out a Humvee because I have not been doing this very well. He's just been massing infantry, though. I'm wondering what he's got. No vehicles have been sighted quite yet. I'm going to call in the vehicle. Why not? I've got these AT aerial mines. I can drop mines in front of a vehicle. Oh, man. My guys just got wrecked. Okay, here comes the Humvee, and it looks like it's got a pretty nice machine gun on it. We're going to call in another squad. Look at that. The Humvee's out. They don't have any anti-person or anti-vehicle units. But you can see this thing is taking... Oh, actually, that looked like maybe a grenade or something. Oh, shit. They called an artillery strike. Holy shit. We're going to call out a lav. An LAV-25. And we're going to absorb all this infantry. He's used a lot of infantry units. All right. You better hurry. All right, my base is under attack. LAV's being put out. You can see that once the base gets fully damaged, I'm going to lose, right? So here comes the LAV. I'm going to call in a rifleman squad. Actually, I'm going to call in an assault squad. Oh, shit, what was that? Someone just called a mortar strike or something on my base? My base is down to 50% health. I wouldn't say this is definitely going... Very well. Lots of infantry spam, though, but I, this LAV... Yeah, oh, he's got some anti-tank guys out there. He just got knocked out. But we're absorbing all of this. Now, what do we want to do? A reinforcement? Might as well use it now. It gives three reinforcements. So see how this is down to seven? All right, we're just more riflemen. Oh, shit, the LAV is down. Fire up. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and call out the assault squad here. To take out these riflemen. It looks like they just have some anti-tank. Is that two different units? It could be. We're, we're taking this out. So now it's just like, we're gonna have to come back. I mean, obviously. We, either we come back or die. I wanted to, I wanted to hold those positions. My guys just kind of ran out there. Not the best situation to be in. 
Yeah, just more rifleman squads coming out. I've got these two guys. They should be able to... Pull. There we go. There it is. That's what I want. I want to hold those two positions. Now, I think if I want to undo that, do I just... No. Okay, there we go. Got it. Figured it out. All right, yeah, so my assault teams were doing pretty good. He, he used an artillery strike. I'm going to call that a win. Another what? Is that an assault? That looks like an assault team to me. So we've got these two guys here posted up. He's waiting. What's he waiting on? What's he waiting on? Should we call in an Abrams? I haven't used an Abrams yet. Or I could call in another LAV. I've got I've got plenty of vehicles here. So it's kind of like we're in this like, you know, a stalemate of sorts. Where the enemy's like, what are you doing? I'm like, what are you doing? I've got just three units holding the walls here. I could drop AT aerial mines, but like there's no reason to. All right, so he's making a push. I'm gonna go ahead and call out my M1 Abrams. And I'm gonna force him to, oh, he called in machine guns. Yeah, so he just went mass infantry. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. I'll call in a rifleman squad to, uh, and I wanted, I want them to defend here. I think that should work. If these guys hop over, yeah. All right, so I've got my Abrams and my Rifleman squad to just absorb all of this incoming enemy units here. Look at this, boys. Look at this. Look at that. Just just whooped them up, boys. Oh, they're calling a mortar strike on the tank. I don't think that's the best use of a mortar strike. We still got this reinforcement. Do I want to use it now? It's only on infantry. This is, look at this machine gun. Alright, so now we're going to send these guys to attack right when he takes out this uh, built fed built built fed machine gun in the front there. Actually, you know what? Over the top, boys. Because that squad's out there to help. And I want them to defend this spot at, right now. Oh, the machine gun's just ripping through my guys. Look at this guy. There we go. We finally knocked him out. Okay, what do we got? He's still just infantry spam at this point. Which I'm okay with. Oh, this guy's an anti-tank unit right here, and that might be a rifleman or an assault squad. So let's go ahead and bring out a Humvee to assist this M1 Abrams. Oh, shit. Get out of there! Oh, shit! I think we ran into the mines! Okay. Well, now my Humvee's out here. That's a problem. Got a squad of riflemen on the all friendly infantry. So this guy might get taken out unless he takes out this guy right here. I'd like his... Yes! Okay, that's perfect. We're going to go assist. We're going to not defend these spots. Oh, God. Oh, actually, we survived that. Hell yeah. Rifles ready to go. Over. Actually, over the top, boys. Look, it's a machine gun squad getting wiped out by my Humvee. Alright, let's go ahead and reinforce the assault squads here. Alright, so we're going to defend this spot. You guys over the top, you guys are weaker. Ooh, I like how they, they'll go across. Oh shit, we, I think we hit mines maybe again. No, that was that anti-tank. Um, I'm going to call it an LAV now, because I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. So once that LAV, actually, or maybe another Humvee? We've got the Humvees, right? If we can use Humvees, which are cheaper. All right, repair drop. Oh, repairs all vehicles, that'd be good. All right, where's my reinforcements coming in? Okay, those guys just got mortared, but I called them up at, the, at a really good time, I think. We're doing, we're doing fairly well. I, I wonder if he's just got no vehicles. At this point. If he does, I mean, we've got those AT mines. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. The Humvee just rolled up. And then I'm going to call in an LAV. And I want these guys to support the Humvee. Fuck! <laughs> that was a bad idea to call them up because uh, I, I don't know if it's mines or what. The LAV's here, though, now. 
Now I'm gonna get some assault yeah, teams. Assault squad standing by for orders. Over. All right, these guys have better accuracy, so maybe they're gonna do a little bit of damage here. Where's that LAV at? He's he's coming up slowly. Some more mortar strikes, it seems. Those guys are getting taken out. Uh, another Don't assault team. We're just gonna do a little bit of a, oh, here we go. And we're gonna call in an assault team right there. So let's see. Now I gotta remember to do a repair drop if I need it. So we've got, we should have two assault teams coming up. Yes, we do. All right, I gotta make sure that these guys aren't getting stopped too far back. That instead we're defending this area. All right. Yeah, assault squad. Now, I've got this repair here. The LAV's doing work, boys. All right, boys, I need you up. Yep, got it. Over. I need you to attack and assist this guy. All right, is that... No anti-tank teams, it's just infantry, it looks like. Now, I think with this much infantry coming in, I think... I don't know, I'm feeling really good about this. All right, we called in a repair. Now I'm gonna wait for the heavy artillery. I don't know if we possibly turned it around simply because Pachius was not used. Oh, he's calling in a missile strike. You see that? Missile strike incoming. But look at that. I don't know. I think we did it. The LAV's not down. I'm gonna call in another LAV because fuck it. We're going in. Can I drop? I can drop aerial mines. There we go! Our first victory! Okay, I lost my first battle to, I believe, an AI. That one, we went heavy armor. And that's the thing, you never really know. There's a fog of war. You don't know what the enemy is going to do. So now, after a battle takes place, look at that victory. The graphics on this thing, the sound effects, all pretty good. I am enjoying it. This is like, it's going to be a nice online multiplayer type game. So infantry destruction, win five games, we've won one. Do 1,500 damage. Won your first game for the day. Win three games in battle. Yeah, look at this. Grenadier kit's gonna take a while. Oh, we almost got this one unlocked. We almost got the CQB. We do have an upgrade for our LAV, and it does look like we have an upgrade for our M1A1. Uh, it's already unlocked, I guess. And this is driver training, which does movement speed Oh, hey, how come this one didn't? Yeah, I guess it's already unlocked, but yeah. So there's also Russian units. Let's go ahead and see them. Confirm. So we're gonna go to the units. Looks like rifleman assault, AT team, machine gun team. They got a T90, a BTR90, a Gaz30, and a sniper team. So the units are the same, but like graphically they'll look a little bit different, which is a nice touch. It makes you wonder how many different nations you might have in the game. We're going to exit without saving that. I think there could be quite a few. Anyway, guys, that is Warfare Online at the current state of beta. Um, having fun with it. Just played two battles in. Already think it's pretty good. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more, you know what to do. Leave a comment and pull the trigger on that like button. And I will see you guys in the next video.